TGR. What's up, guys? It's Rudy! <laughs> no, and it's your boy, Onyx! <laughs> that was an amazing startup to this Yeah, video. I'm going to keep everything. 100%. Totes. <laughs> so, um, there was this really big game that came out recently. I don't think it was that big. Okay, so it was this really small game that came Very out small from release. a, um, not even a double A developer. It was like a single A developer. <laughs> single A, less than indie developer. Less than indie developer. Um, uh, What's have his name? You, have, you, have you ever heard of uh, Hideo Kojima? I have never heard of the name, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. he, he came out with Death Stranding, right. uh, Kojima Productions. Right. Uh, First game. Free from the chains yeah, of, of Konami. Konami. Fuck Konami. Um, <laughs> and, Hashtag fuck Konami. <laughs> yeah. Um, or, there you go. Right. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, so we played it uh, for a bit. Uh, I, You're way farther than I am. I, I'm not, well, maybe. I'm in at like 10 hours in like nine minutes. <laughs> in terms of time, I don't feel like I am. I'm, I think I barely hit 13 hours, but maybe in terms of content. So he's farther than I am. So first 10, obviously, if you yes. don't know, this is your first time watching this video. Yeah. It's our impression series where we play the first 10 hours of a game and we give you those impressions up to that point. Yep. And at the very end, we let you know if it's recommended, not recommended, or just wait for a sale. Yep. Um, so... Let's just get into it. It's going to be kind of free flowing. We're going to talk about certain points of the game, story, visuals, gameplay, and audio. Uh, and, and yeah. We'll Minor spoilers there. for the beginning of the Minor game. Minor spoilers for the first, first 10 hours. 10 hours yeah. uh, but we are going to talk about them pretty heavily. So, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, and, 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 and again, I'm pretty sure I'm past you. So, I'm going to stop wherever he's at at the story. So, which is, what, what, I don't even know. It was the Port Knot City. Or port not that's okay so let's let, well, let's just get right bleh. yeah let's go ahead and get right into it can't even talk today it's let's okay. dive right you. into that stranding exactly so what the hell is this game about so i guess at some point in the future the death stranding happened yeah what is the death stranding i don't know no but when people die they blow up <laughs> <laughs> uh, because of that i guess bts which are like these weird otherworldly beings exist and are connected by an umbilical cord to something else to the um, beach the beach right they have a connection to the beach when you die you go to this beach and i don't know what happens there i think you can kind of either your soul continues on to where it has to go or you know maybe you know there, there's a gameplay part of it that when you die you actually go back into your body and you're kind of reborn again but i think only people with dooms are able to do that yeah what is dooms you ask i don't know but our main character has it and apparently people yeah. can be afflicted by it yeah i don't know what it is but anyway our main character was a delivery guy yeah that's literally what he does that's the, he delivers yeah. shit what, what are they called porters Right? Is that what they're called? Porters? Yeah, I guess. I think. I forget. Their name. Sam, his name's Sam Porter Sam Bridges, Porter and Bridges. he's a porter. No, no, I think that's wrong. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like he's not a porter. <laughs> or is he a porter? What was his name before? Dude, the, the story is Kojima convoluted yes. nonsense. Yes. Oh, my God. Term after term after term. It's almost up there with Nomura. Yeah, you know Nomura and Kojima. I think they're like uh, at their own level. Like, they, like the the craziness in regards to the story is definitely there. But um, yeah. and, and it's a little hard to like follow along. But yeah, uh, he, I, I don't think he can actually you know die and go to the beach. No, I think like, he only goes there in dreams. Oh, I think so. Right, because well, as you play through the story, you have these certain segments where he's like either dreaming or thinking back of prior like events that happened yeah um and he's at the beach there was that one of the first moments where like uh you know he's like holding the baby but the baby then disappears and he's at the beach and that's when he talks about the explosion the first yeah. explosion that happened or whatever so it, you know at least at the first 10 hours it's still really really cryptic mm -hmm. right very much so um but i'm not gonna lie 
as cryptic as it is as cringy as some of the writing is and it is cringy my god did you did you get to the part with fragile like was which like, part she uses the same line multiple times i'm fragile but, not, but i'm not, not that, that fragile. fragile what the <laughs> fuck <laughs> <laughs> what kind of asinine writing is this? Oh my god, but then there's other moments where I'm like, holy shit, I just can't help but being sucked in. It's, yeah, it, the, I don't know, there, there, there's pros and cons to it, but like story-wise, like, yes, it is very engaging. Like, it, it, yeah. you, you want to keep on going as Absolutely. you play the game. I, I don't know what it is, and like, you know, Metal Gear Solid Five, Phantom Pain, that story and the way that the elements play there, it, it almost felt like a very angry Kojima. Probably. And, and you don't this, want to piss him off. Right. And this this feels like a very different Kojima, right? He's very um, happy. Happy, but also like twisted. He's like, I'm going to do whatever the hell I want. And he oh, got yeah. away with it. I mean, oh, yeah. you know, some crazy shit genuinely happens in, in, in this, in, you know, up to the first 10 hours. Uh, the way this, the world setting, you know, it's very somber. It's very sad. It it's slight hints of hope. This idea of connecting everyone via the, the Cupids and the chiral network. It's all a bunch of mumbo jumbo. <laughs> what the hell is a chiral network? I, I think it has to do it, with. It has like with, a Wi Fi signal when you're actually going in and out. Like, yeah. it'll like yeah, pop up like a little yeah. signal. The UI is actually like one of the things that I was like, ah. But we'll, you get we'll used get, to it though. Like, like visually, yeah. like, I mean. Yeah, it, it is very striking. But yeah, we'll, right. we'll, we'll get to, it, the, we'll get we'll to, get to it. the UI when on visuals. But um, so overall, the story, I think it's pretty engaging. It is a bunch of Kojima nonsense, and there's a lot of the. Like I said, the pretty bad writing. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Uh, but it is engaging. Yeah. Norman Reedus does the best that he do, you know that he does with that kind of role. You know, it does feel at times that I'm playing Daryl from The Walking yeah, Dead. Yeah, dude. Like 100. percent Like the whole like almost like a renegade. Like yeah. I don't want to be a part of any of it. I yeah, just want to do my own thing. Yeah, yeah. But I kind of have to because. But I kind of have to, and you know. then you end up carrying and. Uh, yeah, it, it, I have a feeling it's gonna be a pretty good story because I do think that at the end of the day, Kojima does have something to say so yeah. we'll we'll see what he does by the end of the story yeah um also you did not get to episode four right you're still, no, no, episode no, I'm still on episode three so up to episode three you've seen a lot of flashbacks of matt mickelson's character which seems to be the bb's dad which is the baby yeah the bb's dad um the main one that um, that sam has yeah um which is supposed to be defective but yep. he's still using he's still it. using it and People that have dooms technically aren't supposed to be using BBs because yeah. they like end up getting attached and they exchange memories and things it, get weird yeah, and fuzzy. Yeah, and then also the I, I also Thank you, Dead like Man. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, Dead Man himself is like talking about how, um, what he's like, like you know when the baby is put into the the canister, like their growth is stunted. Yep. But so they can't really grow past a certain point, but they do have those like basic like neurological functions and stuff so that's where they have those memories yep. it's really crazy but I, I like it i don't know it's wild but i dig it, it it's it's cool crazy yeah <laughs> like it's it's sci-fi at its best but it's just i don't know like i love it i i like i enjoy it and like the more that you it's like this huge like mystery and it's slowly revealing itself more and more yeah. and more and like um what was what was the main bad guys character that i i literally just higgs. fought him higgs yes yeah. that, that whole was scene voiced by um troy baker was yes it? dude you could tell He's immediately so that it was good. troy baker so <laughs> good i was like he, he was like so fabulous in the role like when he was talking and oh, stuff yeah. like good job troy baker seriously seriously um, well done well done yeah i i but yeah it, it i don't know i i feel like i'm at the tip of the iceberg right you now are. in episode i'm telling you i finished episode three and episode four was substantially shorter than episode three and now i'm in episode five and I'm just like, oh, stuff is actually getting super interesting now. And from what I've heard in episode five, like the, the cutoff for the reviews or the early impressions before reviews came out was episode three. Whoa. So episode five, apparently like stuff gets actually insane. So, and I'm already like, how can it get more insane? But <laughs> how can it, it get more crazy? Like, yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm digging it. I definitely uh, yeah, I think the story is a, a plus for yeah. Death Stranding. So what do you think of uh, the way that it looks? So Kojima somehow tricked Sony <laughs> into <laughs> not only funding the freaking game, but like giving them the Decima the engine, Decima engine from Guerrilla actually... Games and stuff, and getting part of Guerrilla Games to help him develop this game. Which, by the way, the Decima engine by itself is amazing. Yeah, Horizon looks beautiful. Freaking one of the best games. Uh, however, I feel about that game put aside. Gameplay like aside, it is a it beautiful great. game. And like, I 100%. think Koji Pro 
like maximize that engine. This game looks beautiful. I mean, did you see the review from uh, a Digital Foundry? I Looking at like actually. the graphical integration between the PS4, PS4 Pro, and all. Oh, yeah. I have not. No, no, Long no, story no, short, no. they're like, this is hands down one of the best looking console games when it comes to human beings. Yeah. That, like the way that they're, the eyes like glisten and the light comes in and you have yeah. the natural catch light and the way that the skin looks and the skin moves, which is very important yes. because once time rain hits, Timefall. Yeah, or Timefall. Which is rain. <laughs> Which is rain, yeah. But uh, once it hits, like, um, I don't know if you know, but anything that it touches, like, it automatically, like, ages, it ages instantaneously. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, it, it's just all of that stuff put together. By the way, lighting um, is amazing. It, it, honestly, the, the game just looks fantastic. I was worried at first because a lot of the pre-release footage. It seemed I like really it was very uh, just rocky. empty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Empty yeah. and rocky. Yeah. But playing it and actually seeing the different, like, landscapes that you can kind of traverse it, the game is freaking beautiful and the stuff that you can create yeah yeah yeah, yeah. oh my god oh, that's like, that's going into gameplay but yeah, yeah but the game looks visuals honestly i really can't fault it no even, even the parts where like fragile's eating the crypto bites for example yes like it looks so good like like there's not a lot of clipping like i don't see a lot of those like errors that you see like just with with like less polished games um like I lo- things I, don't pop up randomly yeah like, popping it, is like non-existent i have not noticed popping if you if if so other people have like I am playing on a pro. I don't know if it makes a difference, um, but I have not noticed any popping at all. No. Resolution is great. Like, I mean, I played at 1080 with super sampling on. Like, yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. So, I mean, it, if I were to give it a score, I'd say it's perfect in visuals. I don't see any blemishes, man. No, I don't. None at all. So, none at all. Good on that. Good yeah. job. Good job, Koji Pro, with that decimal engine. Holy crap! Seriously. <laughs> uh, in regards to gameplay, though, like, there's definitely some interesting decisions in my opinion it's not a perfect game um no and i feel like if if you take out the pieces that are in between the story bits like it would be a perfect movie yeah i think and, it, it could, and this is classic a kojima. tv show and this is per- yeah. this is classic kojima well, he wants to he yeah this is yeah. classic there's nothing wrong with that and no. the gameplay still is good like the fact that everything that you carry is on you yeah the fact that things naturally degrade over time with right with timefall Mm -hmm. the fact that you know you do run out of stamina and you do like running out of stamina hinders your gameplay and your performance like all of that puts together then connecting with other people and like as you're playing any structures whether they're bridges generators thank god to anybody that has generators that they build (laughs) uh the zip lines like all that stuff that's there like other people build it and it pops up in your world and helps you along your journey right. that right. aspect of like a community working together to, to a final to make goal things easier to make things easier that's for that's really what it is yeah, yeah exactly it's really what it is we know like so playing the game is hard yeah right because totally. it, it it essentially boils down to a item it's an item management game you're managing yeah. your items your weight your stamina the degradation of the items um if you have any vehicles the batteries on those yep. um you gotta you know we gotta manage like the time because you can actually at so, i think you you may have gotten to it yet you may not have you gotten to the weather station i know do you care if i spoil a game god thing? dang it onyx <laughs> yeah that's my. it's very it. small you can actually see when you get there you will actually have a radar essentially on your map where mm-hmm. it shows you time fall and where it is and you can skip time and it'll tell you like if it's going to rain where you're at or if it's going to be in different areas and how long you may have to wait you get a meteorologist you get a literal meteorologist in the that game is so freaking fall. cool so there's a lot of systems in this game like i don't know if you knew this you probably do already but like you can hold circle to rest yeah and right? you automatically save when you do which is great um i think that's one of the tips the game gives you actually <laughs> um so like you can you have to manage all this you can look at your stamina bar well first drink the monsters before you leave you can drink up to three to get the more uh, uh, well you can but you get after the third one you don't get any more stamina increase oh, i thought it was 25 percent for each one so you get it's up to 25 percent, which is the fifth bar uh, but um each one gives you 10 percent. so 10 percent, 10 percent, and then five percent okay all right, all right, all right. Yeah, or something like that but it's like i was drinking four yeah, I tried four and it didn't give me any increase. I'm like, oh, I could be wrong. Maybe I'm, for- I Maybe could I'm be playing wrong the game too. wrong. <laughs> I, I mean, I've been playing Pokemon, Jedi, this. <laughs> like, I've been playing everything, man. I started playing Shenmue, but... Uh, well, point. that's... Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, there's just so many systems to think about. <clears throat> excuse me. And so many things to, to cover. Like, Kojima went all in. Yeah. He really thought about everything to 
to make the game as realistic as possible in, in you know in terms of gameplay right because like you hold the r2 and l2 to keep so, like keep tight to keep that yeah. balance and that takes a somewhat physical toll on your finger you feel it oh yeah right so when you have all this management that you have to do and all of a sudden he's like but let's make this easier let's make a community and say all right guys help each other out build a road that connects friggin the farthest point to the farthest point and people are doing it when i first started playing it the road was maybe like not even not even like a, a mile feet. like i got to the meal camp and you know which if you're in episode three you know which road i'm talking about it's the main road out of the first city and there's a meal camp really close to it it got maybe to that halfway point and now it gets me like almost to the, uh, the distribution center and that's far like i was sort of shocked i'm like holy crap this is actually growing yeah it gives you that sense of community and i love that he is he wants to tell something he wants to speak about connections and i love it i, I think that is one aspect of the gameplay that is damn dude kudos to you i love it he likes kojima i do i, I i'm not biased <laughs> however i'm not no, biased no, no. because like you said the gameplay isn't perfect there is the the combat mm -hmm. is by far the weakest thing of the game it just becomes like a typical shooter yeah third like a third person shooter yeah like it, I, it, I haven't even gotten a gun but like yeah the stuff that i have seen online like it just it does it like, does like i killed my spoilers you kill a bt surprise yeah. um but i killed my first story based bt and you use like your grenades right yeah essentially. And, and i use yeah. my grenades made of you know sweat urine and, pee and urine poo and, <laughs> like everything so pretty much if you have dooms anything that your body secretes is you know anti-bt essentially towards your bts yeah yeah or whatever but anyways um yeah it, it just it just it kind of like takes away like that mystery aspect to it a little bit yeah and, and just it's like oh you know these are just monsters that's, that's essentially what they are like the, I actually before you get to the story bt it when i was playing the game um i goofed up and i got caught me too and i noticed that the bt came up i died i actually didn't kill it um, but i was doing some damage oh one other cool thing did you get players like i guess like almost like spirits come out mm -hmm. in your battle and they were like throwing out a bunch of grenades mm -hmm. and stuff mm -hmm. i love that mm -hmm. it's so cool <laughs> um so that happened to me the first time i fought the bt accidentally i still ended up dying i don't know i don't know what happened i forget um but when you die your body blows up and that area becomes a big old crater so i don't know like and that's permanently like that i, I think so okay because i don't know i the the first time that i got caught by like those bt thingy yeah, bobbers you ran I, away, right? I ran away like it pulled me towards like that squid thing and i was like nope yeah. deuces i'm out yeah, and i yeah, like yeah. i ran as fast as possible i was yeah. like screw this so i I'm tried out. to fight it because the baby was like in, in, in the shock i feel so bad yeah, and I was like, okay, I I, I gotta try to kill this thing. Yeah, no, it's, 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 it's it just keeps on going. It just keeps um, on going. I felt so bad for it. But yeah, I died and it blew up and created a crater, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna stay there for the rest of the game. And then I got caught a second time on purpose. I wanted to see, um, one, if the BTs were different, and two, how much easier it would be now knowing how to how to, how to fight, fight them. BTs. And this BT that I ran into was not the same. It was like a dog. It was standing on all fours. And I'm like, okay, here we go, baby. I'm gonna fight you. Let's go. And he just jumped on me and bit me, and I died immediately. And then that area is now cratered. And I'm just like, shit. <laughs> so it made me wonder, like, do I get to refight these guys, or or am I screwed? Like, did I actually screw up that area entirely forever? I don't know. But I think that uh, you know, the combat is the weakest part of the game. It really does boil down to using yeah. grenades for the BTs primarily like throwing an ex0 or ex1 because it, it weakens them a lot yeah and then just, throw, just throwing your um he, uh what is it hemolytic grenades yeah hemolytic grenades i think yeah there's um, like things where you can like you throw in the one of the grenades and then you can actually shoot through the uh, through yeah. the fog or whatever the smoke that's, that's generated from too. it and it does a lot of damage so pretty cool there's, stuff. there's a lot of cool stuff there. Also a lot the, of mechanics that the, are there. the baby you can kind of sort of um interact with the baby you can like, soothe you know, it cradle it cradle you know it, make it feel better just don't shake it oh my god I, the first, did you do that the first time just like because <laughs> i didn't know I, I didn't know how sensitive it was so I'm it's just like, sensitive so i started freaking shaking it's like, and I'm like oh god wait wait hold on oh. yeah you gotta <laughs> I, I like i literally like take it i'm just like okay all right <laughs> but so that speaks to volumes i connected yeah. to bb because when he's crying 
in one of the later parts of the of episode four, he was crying. I'm like, oh my god, hold on, let me stop what I'm doing and let me cradle him real quick. Wham. <laughs> that shit is going down Wham. around me, and I'm like, okay, now let's get back to it. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, I know. It's fine. It's a cute little baby. It's, all good. it's a so. cute. It's a cute ass baby though. So, um, what do you think of uh, the audio? I don't have much to say, man. So it's good. As you traverse through the world, like random music will pop up. Kojima. And holy crap, the music is so good. So, it, it speaks it, to my right indie up your heart. Alley. It's I knew it. Dude, it's like, like 100% right on my alley. When so I was I'm, listening to it, I'm like, this is Rudy's type of music right here. <laughs> super indie, so super acoustic. Yes. Like with that like ethereal sense of like, yes. ooh. Yes. Ah. yes. It's so good though. It matches the atmosphere perfectly. 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 100%. And the moments that it comes up, like I think at the end of episode two, when you're going down the, the oh, mountain. Oh, I stopped. You stopped to listen I to it? I stopped just to listen to it. I rested. <laughs> I was like, dude, this is so good. But that, I, like, you're going down the big, because you were, that was a big that hillside. That was a big hill, yeah. And you're going down to the city, and you're like, the music just starts playing, and you're like, shit, that's good. I can only imagine near the end of the game how he's going to use that music. Because you know Kojima's good at this shit. Oh, yeah. He edits all his trailers. Like, he knows how to get you invested. Mm -hmm. And he's going to do, I, I have a feeling he's going to do it again with this, so. I agree. I agree. I don't know, man. Overall, it's just like such a good package. And that's just the music. Like, yeah, that's what I even talking about. The audio of like the BTs. Yeah, yeah. Everything sounds really good. Like everything sounds crunchy. Surround sound is like on point. So good. Um, so, <laughs> it probably so sound like a broken record. So good. So good. But it really is. The audio design is fantastic. And um, everything has a unique sound that sounds crisp. Like every time, well, the, the few times that I've died, when you when you re resurrect, you have to go through like your mouth. Yeah. Um, and then you go through like the baby. I guess you the have baby. a baby. That's where like you? the baby comes up and it's like, yeah, it gives you the thumbs up or whatever. Not only does that look amazing, because damn it, that, that looks really good. But the audio is just like heavy and deep when you're going through it. And oh you yeah. Hear the, and then, have you seen what happens if you die immediately when you begin the game? No. Oh my god. So all right, if you're watching this, like. You can pause and just like go search for it. Let's put so, a link in the description for it. Yeah, or we can do that. Um, long story short, uh, like the same thing happens. And like when you go to resurrect, like you go down your esophagus and like pretty much go all the way down. But instead of it being a baby, it's like a creepy baby doll. Because you haven't gotten the baby yet. You haven't gotten the baby yet. What the hell? So it's just like. <laughs> like, it's so bad. Oh, that's actually amazing. That's actually so we'll probably cool. put a link down in the description below yeah, so yeah, you can yeah. see it. It's that's so, so good. good. That's so good. Oh man. And I think that that creepy baby does it have like all this nails yeah. and crap? Yes. I think that has story uh significance. Really? I think so because in episode four, well, I'm not gonna spoil it, but stuff happens with a baby like that. Oh, with a little baby doll. So, all right, we will see. We that's shall. interesting. That's interesting but, to hear. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't know that. I didn't. I this no guy idea. usually knows more stuff than me. <laughs> than me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but anyway, guys, uh, that about wraps up everything we have. Yeah, to yeah. Any final things you want to say? Do you recommend it? Do you not recommend it? You tell people to wait for a sale. If you're a fan of any of the Metal Gear games, if you like the way that Kojima works, get the game. Yeah. I recommend it. The, now, I will add something to that. It's not like Metal Gear. Do no, not no, no, expect no. a Metal Gear like experience. No, it is no. very different. But he's right. If you if you do like how Kojima thinks, how he works, his game design philosophy, yep. then I think you will enjoy this game too. Oh, by the way, oh. um, if you are going to play the game, make sure you're very close to the television <laughs> because the text is like this big. It's fairly small text. Yeah. Very oh, we small never text. even discussed the UI back in the visuals. Quick side note, yeah. the visuals, the UI is hit and miss. Yeah. The fact that you have to hold X to confirm stuff is really weird. It took it, me a while it, to yeah, get used to it. Yeah, it took me a while to get used to it. Um, I, I like kept on hitting like circle because I would like pick everything that I wanted. Yeah, and you're and like, okay, just like, all right, cool. And it's like, nope, you got to nope. hold X to confirm stuff yeah. or hold square to do stuff in the in the outer world, overworld and stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway. What? So yeah. So. Oh yeah, get the text. Yeah, text yeah. is kind so of text, small. It's super yeah. small. So make sure that you're playing like with like a monitor nearby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you something. don't have access to a 70 inch TV, yeah, just. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or I mean, if you have like you know like a 32 inch like that one, you can just sit really close. <laughs> I don't work. I don't know, but I guess. Uh, I I recommend it. I I recommend it as well. I, I do I do see and understand why this game is so divisive though. Oh, I can 100%. see people not being fans of this. Apparently. Uh, video game donkey 
did a he wasn't view. a fan of it either. He was not a fan. I didn't watch the video because I heard it was crazy. Spoilers I watched it. it and it was hilarious. I'm sure it is. He's always funny, but um, yeah, apparently like it's a dunk for you and those are serious. And yeah, he apparently did not like the game. And I'm not surprised. It's a very divisive game. Do you, really do you care if I tell you what he rated it? What did he give it? It, it was a uh, one out of five dunks. <laughs> So yeah, he hated it. Uh, he, he genuinely, he, he like genuinely did not like it. And that's fine. I think Jim Sterling also, he stopped playing yeah. it. Yeah. So I get that it's divisive, but it's it's not for me. I, I'm genuinely enjoying the experience. Faulty as it is, but this is also coming from the guy that is really enjoying Shenmue 3 for the whole hour that I've played. So take that as you will. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Play it. it. Play it. Just yeah. enjoy it. You'll like it. All right, guys. Yeah. Well, that's our first 10 for Death Stranding. Yeah. So uh, let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Obviously, like, subscribe, all that. You, use YouTube. Yeah. Um, you join us on Discord, stuff. man. Yeah. Let Seriously. us know how wrong we are for liking <laughs> Death Stranding. By subscribing to are the channel and going to our Discord. Absolutely. Blah, blah, blah. Absolutely. It's a very divisive game, but it I think, is, I it, think it will be remembered for what it did, and it is it is trying some crazy new stuff. So. Yeah, man. It's, it's not a cookie-cutter game. No, it by is not. any means. It is definitely by not. any means. So I guess we will see you on the next one. Yep. Later, guys. Deuces. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more and stay up to date, subscribe, hit the little bell, and join our Discord. If you want to support the channel, please check out our Patreon or hit the join button below. As always, thanks for your support and thanks for watching.